So finally got the, the opportunity to come out here and check out the new member of the family. 45 FNX 45. You talk about firepower. You get 15 rounds, 45 ACP, and uh, three mags. That's 45 rounds of 45 ACP. Anyways, the gun's an ambidextrous gun. It's got the mag release here, here. It's got a safety on both sides. Safety. Now you're hot, and then down is down is for decocking it. There's a hammer. Safety. Safety's off. Decocker. Ambidextrous both sides. It's got some decent sights. They're not a night sights. But they're decent. Anyways, um, let's see how it rock and rolls. First 10 rounds, uh, I'm getting used to the trigger. Um, the recoil is not out of this world. Um, feels pretty good. It's a big gun, but it's not out of control. It's got adjustable back straps. Steel case ammo, Tula. Crap ammo, but it's cheap and it's affordable. I think I know where it's going on safety. When I'm when, when I do this, maybe that finger's putting it on safety. Yeah, look. So that's on me. I need to learn the weapon. Um, the trigger, I'm used to the trigger on my SIG P320, but the trigger on this, I was expecting it to be kind of squishy, like the CZs. The trigger's actually very good. I like it. I can work with that. Um, eh, first shots, not too bad. Um, throw some more ammo. I'm pretty sure my, my shots are going to get better and better if I get this trigger down. But boy, you can't beat 45 rounds of fucking 45 ACP. This is a beast of a gun. Good. FNX 45. Third round, second round. I went I went ahead and I brought my play carry out here. Uh, a lot of people, they own them. They never, they never practice with them. So they don't know how it's going to perform out there. I learned the hard way. Uh... These fake areas, if you don't get your right size, you can't pick up your rifle properly. So I went and I got the right size. And uh, so now I'm out here trying it out, shooting my gun, see how it's going to feel, how I'm going to react. And uh, I mean, a lot of guys think, well, why do you need a play carrier? Well, down here in South Texas, every other fucking week, we got three or four home invasions, motherfuckers from down south. So I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Anyways, back to the action. My shit's all over the place. Slow down. It's really easy to get going with the gun and then you just start try losing track of your bullets. So let's go for some headshots.
the groups are okay. Um, going a little left, but that's, that's my trigger manipulation. Let's go for some faster shots. Center mass. Uh, pretty tight groups, I mean, uh, that wasn't really fast, but I missed one shot out of ten. And it all seems to be on this side, so I'm sure that's my, my trigger squeeze. Thanks to, I'm not used to this trigger, but I'm working on it. And I mean, hell, the groups are pretty close. I'll take that. I'll take that any day. Reload. Forty-five. Gonna take uh, some more slowed, controlled shots. See how it goes. Hmm. All right. Headshots. Um, gotta admit, uh, the headshots are on, it's just uh, a, little, a little bit tightness here, so you really gotta get out there so your arms shake a little bit. Let's try a, some rapid fire center mass. <laughs> Missed the last one, but got, more, got the rest of them center mass. It's a little bit different shooting with the uh, with the play carrier. Your handgun, you know, you got resistance right here. Your rifle, you bring it up, and you've got to. Sometimes it doesn't fit properly. You got to adjust it. So it's uh, it's good to get out of practice with your play carrier. That way you know your limitations and what you got to adapt to. Oh, I missed two. Control your shots, control your shots. Headshots, headshots. Whoa, camera bite. Uh, yeah, I need to slow it down. Well, too little, too late. Now, the trigger's good. Uh, just, need, you know, be out here, do more practice, stop being so damn trigger happy and stuff. But other than that, man, oh, no grease, no oil, just at the box, doing good. I um, think we're done. Well, you know what, hold on, Take, stay, stay on. I'm done shooting my, my 45, I'm out, of, I'm out of ammo. But I wanted to show you. When you have a play carrier that's too big, right here, you shoulder your weapon up. You'll hit. You're gonna hit. You're gonna hit your play carrier. So I had a large one. I couldn't bring it in at all. This one is still kind of, but I can bring it in a little bit. You know, I can still bring it in. Let me take some rounds. In closing, in conclusion, I figured I'd end the videos with a little Century uh, 39. Version 2 action.
Yeah, she buzzes like a hums like a smooth engine. And uh, was it counting? I thought I had more. I thought I had twenty in there, but I guess there was more. Anyway, Century Thirty Nine version two. No, uh, no misfires, no malfunctions, no problems. Uh, worth the money. It feels good. It feels solid. Um, definitely don't hesitate to go out and get one. By the way, this year works pretty good. It uh, it helps keep the muzzle rise down and it's supposed to be a muzzle brake slash compensator. I'm not sure if uh, it uh. I saw a flash right now, but anyways, American made AKs, they're uh, they're pretty good, you know, and as far as I said, play carriers go, it's better to have one and not need it, than need it and not have it, man, it, these are getting pretty bad all over the place, home invasions, rapes, kidnappings, ransoms, well, screw all that crap, I'd rather be ready for whatever's coming, you know. Anyways, uh, till next time, I'll see you guys later.